it is no secret that anti-blackness live in America. It's also no secret that we are living actually in an anti-black country. Being anti-black is almost a part of the Constitution. That's why when immigrants come here, they told to stay away from black people and to stay away from blackness. Being anti-black is a part of American culture. Being anti-black is part of American dream. Um, unfortunately, some of our own people have become anti-black because they too realize that the closer you are to blackness, the harder things will be for you in this country. And the closer you are to whiteness, the better things will be for you in this country. That is not by mistake. That is by design. So some people that are a little bit more weaker and want things to be better in their life, they are willing to go towards whiteness in order to make things better for themselves because these people are just simply not that strong. For the strong black people like me, that will go towards blackness no matter what the cost is and no matter what happens and I don't care about things being easier for me I'm not going to give up my blackness just to try to get along in a country that doesn't like me or my people and that are geared towards destroying us in every way possible interracial dating is all part of destroying us look at the data of the countries that did this look at brazil look at different countries that implemented the same anti-blackness and we mixed ourselves out happily to get away from our own blackness and right now they're trying to implement that in the united states of america but unfortunately it's not going to work because black people are the strongest black people on the planet and we will stand believe me but they're going to try it they're going to try the same thing they did in a lot of European countries to try to melt down our numbers and try to bring down our population. Um, there is a reason why they won't let black immigrants come to this country to keep our population down. And now it's, um, it's all about just trying to make us basically just mix ourselves on up out of here because we are living in an anti-black country. And if you want to get along, if you want things to go good for you, then you're going to have to stay away from blackness because blackness is like kryptonite to America. Blackness will bring the FBI out. Blackness will bring the CIA out. If you don't believe me, ask um, those that were part of the Black Panther Party. That is what blackness does. Blackness is a threat to America. Um, blackness is um, part of American fear um, it's a part of America's fabric it was built on that it's in the very essence of America and it will never change that's why those that come here are even affected by it the non-blacks and the non-whites are affected by it because when they come over here they come to realize the closer you are to blackness the further you are away from America, the further you are away from the acceptance of American society. But the closer you are to America, the further away you are from blackness. And under the pressures and the society pressures that are being put on us, a lot of us become anti-black by default. Even black people are anti-black in 2023 because it just makes things a lot more easier people don't, people don't want to associate with blackness anymore because it comes with a consequence a consequence that people are not willing to pay black people want to have fun black people want to get on facebook black people want to look at all of the negative images of themselves black people want to watch love and hip-hop black people want to eat all of the garbage that american society has given them that's what they want to do in order to do that comfortably then they have to be anti-black by default and that's just the way it is we live in an anti-black country i understand the stigmas that come with it i felt the hate i felt the disrespect I felt my own people turn their back 
on blackness. I've seen it in real time. And this is just a reality of it. Because nowadays we're just living in a different time where people are just trying to be human, as they say. And to stay away from blackness, even though whiteness still abounds. And the more they run away from blackness, white supremacy is still here. And the more they run away from the culture, white supremacy is still here. So yet you are willing to throw blackness out of the window, but you are willing to coexist with whiteness. And that's the problem that we have today in our society. We are most definitely living in an anti-black country. They don't like nothing black. They don't like black power. They don't like um, black success. They don't like black progress. And that's why they go out of their way every day and every chance they get to try to hold blackness back. To come up with alternatives like interracial dating, multicolorism, people of color. All of these titles and things that they give us are nothing but new ideas to get away from blackness. To get us away from the very thing that threatens their existence. The very thing that they are afraid of. And that is blackness. Thank you for listening. Like, subscribe, and I dare you to stay black.